Chains and cables are important tools to help combat snow and ice covered roads. Knowing when, where, why, and how to use and install these important safety features is critical. Winter driving can be challenging and hazardous. It's vital to remain informed and alert to possible winter conditions wherever you travel. Weather alerts, radar, phone apps, internet, radio, as well as fellow drivers are great resources to keep up to date on weather issues. It's important to become physically and mentally prepared to deal with hazardous driving conditions. Dangerous distractions like phones, music, pets, and fellow passengers must not break your concentration while driving. Concentration and driving slow during adverse conditions is key to safe travel. Always remember that you're the one that determines if it's safe to drive or not. Your confidence and experience will help you decide, not anyone else. Chain advisory rules were developed with driver safety in mind. Prime recommends storing chains and cables on your truck starting September 1st through the winter season. Different trucks require different chains and cables. Tractors with dual tires require one set of chains only for the two outside rear drive tires. Also, three sets of cables and one set of wide base cables for super single trailers. Tractors with super single tires require two sets of wide base lengths or chains for the tractor. All four tires must be chained. It also requires one set of wide base cables for super single trailers and one set of regular cables for dual trailers. Some states have specific requirements including Colorado, California, Washington, and Idaho. For a full list, refer to our handout Prime Inc. Tire Chain Regulations Advisory. Regardless of the listed mandatory dates, always be aware of winter conditions in mountain driving during non-winter months. Traction devices like chains and cables are designed for slow speeds of 30 miles per hour or less and should never be used at full highway speed. Cruise controls during adverse weather conditions should never be used. Don't be caught unprepared. If you're traveling in winter conditions, always dress appropriately in case you're stranded for a time. When applying chains or cables, it's best to start with the drive tires. Lay out the cable to make sure it's not twisted. The latch needs to be on the outside of the tire. Drape cables over the tire. Take out cable slack and make sure the latch is at the bottom of the tire. Lock the latch, but don't tighten. Go to the inside part of the tire and pull the latch as tight as you can and lock. Go back to the outside tire and check the latch and tighten. Make sure cables are in position and then pull the truck forward a half rotation of the tire. Now the latch is at the top of the tire for easy adjustments. Tighten both inside and outside latches and snap the latch into lock position. Attach bungee cords to the cables in an X formation. Make sure to put hooks facing away from the tire to prevent damage to the tire. And lastly, cables should be nice and tight before proceeding to the next tire. When applying chains, lay out flat to make sure they're in working order. Make sure the cam locks are on the outside of the tire. You'll need the cam lock tool which is provided in the chain bag. Drape the chains over the tire, getting the links as even as possible. A cam lock at the bottom of the tire will hook the chain together. Get the cam lock as tight as possible. Go to the inside of the tire and hook the chain together. Get in the truck and slowly move forward a half tire rotation. Use the cam lock tool to securely twist all four locks, ensuring the chain's tight fit to the tire. Hook bungee cords into the chains in an X formation, making sure that the hooks point out. Double check chain tightness before moving to the next tire. For applying cables to dual tires, always lay out cables to make sure they're not twisted. You want the latch on the outside. 
Drape the cables over the tire, making sure that the latch at the bottom of the tire is on the back end so it won't get smashed when pulling forward. Go to the inside of the tire and latch it first. Then go back to the outside tire and loosely latch the cable together. Slowly roll the truck forward a half tire rotation. Pull the slack out of the cables and tighten the latch. Another way to apply chains rather than draping them is to lay flat and roll. First, lay out your chains evenly in front of the tire, making sure the cam locks are on the outside. Roll the truck forward and stop before the second tire reaches the chain. Grab the front of the chains and drape them over the tire, even out the links and take out the slack. Go to the inside of the tire and hook the chain together. Go back to the outside tire and hook the chain together. Take your cam tool and securely twist each cam lock into position. Apply the bungee cords with hooks facing away from the tire. It's acceptable to use more than two cords if you choose. Adding chains and cables on wintry highways help drivers return home safely. Always remember that you're the captain of your ship and that there is no load so hot that it can't cool off in a ditch. Your safety and that of the motoring public is dependent upon your decisions and the driving conditions you adopt. Remember, be safe and be slow in adverse conditions.